Hi, welcome back to the Cosmic Classroom. So we're going to talk about motion and the difference between velocity and acceleration. But before I start, I want to congratulate you for clicking on this video because most people think they understand the difference between velocity and acceleration, including people that know physics, but they don't really because in, in our everyday lives, they get kind of mixed up together in the way we talk about it. So in order to understand Newton's laws, in order to understand orbits, in order to understand motion in general, it's very important to be clear about the difference between velocity and acceleration, okay? So to describe motion, there are three things that you need to keep in mind. One is the speed. The speed is the rate at which objects move. So 10 meters per second, 60 miles per hour if you're driving in a highway. It doesn't tell you what direction of motion, it's just how big a motion it is, how much distance you travel in a certain time. If you add to that information, if you add to the speed a direction, for example, 10 meters per second traveling east or west, or 10 meters per second uh, or uh, 10 meters per second traveling in the direction of going to Disneyland. You know, any way that you define the direction that you're going, then you're talking about the velocity. So velocity is a speed, is a measurement of distance traveled in a unit of time with a direction associated with it. Now acceleration is different. Acceleration is a change in motion, is a change in velocity or a change in speed. So if you start traveling really slowly and then you start running, speeding up, then, then your motion is accelerated, okay? So a change in acceleration per time is, a, a change in velocity per time is acceleration. So I like to think as a, of acceleration as meters per second per second. So it's velocity, change in velocity per unit of time. Okay, um, if, for example, you change from going from zero meters per second, being at rest, to moving at 10 meters per second, in one second, your change in velocity tens is 10 meters per second in one second. So 10 meters per second squared. Now let's see it applied to, to help you get a better grasp um, on the difference between acceleration and velocity. So for example, here you have car, a car in three different motions. The first one, the car is f starting its motion at 30 kilometers per hour and speeding up to 60 kilometers per hour. So the speed is changing, right? If the speed is changing, there is acceleration. The second car, the second motion, the car is going on a, on a curve. So the speed is the same. It's 60 kilometers per hour in the beginning and 60 kilometers per hour at the end. However, the direction that this car is traveling is changing. If the direction is changing, the velocity is changing, therefore this motion is accelerated. All right. And the last um, motion is a car that it's going fast and it's slowing down to zero kilometers per hour. So it's this car that it's traveling and then comes to a stop. Again, the speed is changing. The velocity is changing, so that's an accelerated motion. The reason why it's so important to understand the difference between a motion with acceleration and without acceleration is because we can't tell when we are being accelerated, but we cannot tell when we are traveling at constant velocity or at rest. So for example, if you're at rest okay, uh, in an airplane, or traveling at a constant velocity, you can't tell the difference. You don't know if you are at rest or if, if the airplane is traveling. You don't feel anything. There is no acceleration. If you are um, on a roller coaster, on the other hand, you feel that acceleration. That's something you feel in your gut. It's a change in motion. That is acceleration, all right? In fact, the fact that you cannot tell if you're in rest or if you're traveling at a constant velocity is the idea of special relativity. You can't tell the difference, okay? So let me go over a few more examples here. Driving backward at exactly 50 kilometers per hour. 
So the motion is not changing. It's still 50 kilometers per hour in the same direction. Therefore, there is no acceleration. So I'll tell you that if you are inside the train or inside a car that's traveling at 50 kilometers per hour and not changing, you can't tell it unless you look outside. You can't feel it. Okay. Now, if you're rolling freely down a hill in a car, there is an acceleration, acceleration due to gravity, and that you can feel. Jumping up and down, the same thing. Your velocity is changing, right? It's going up and then it's going down. That's a change in velocity. Therefore, the motion is accelerated. Keep that in mind and, and listen to the videos about Newton's laws. If you need help, come back to it. I hope this helps. Make sure you understand the difference between velocity and acceleration, which is a change in velocity. I hope it helps. See you next time.